check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Let's go, Vancouver! Woo! Canucks win 4-2 against the awful Flames. Wow, what a game, what a night. Man, there, there's so much to be excited about in Vancouver land. There's so much to be pumped about. And I'm glad that you're here, everyone. I'm absolutely glad that you're here. My name is Rev Trev, and I am Kim, Kim, Kempner Canucks, and pumped about this game pumped about this win. What a great way to be uh, hanging out on a Saturday night, whether you're here in the stream or you're live at the stadium, or you just watch the game at home or watch some highlights. Fantastic evening. Fantastic evening. The Vancouver Canucks beat the division rival Calgary Flames four to two, baby. Four to two. Let's go. We got so much to talk about tonight. We're going to get into the chat. We're going to get into what people have to say, but I want to show you first and foremost, my friend Gary bought me this Vancouver Canucks um, thing or Vancouver thing. It's pretty cool. It changes colors. See that? That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So thank you, Gary. Uh, so cool. I can't get it go behind me. It's not, the cord's not long enough, so I got to figure out something there. But huge night tonight for the Canucks because we need another two points. Edmonton lost <laughs> to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, and so we got another two points up on them as well. So let's dive into the game, everyone. Let's dive into the game. The pregame stories that Casey DeSmith and Markstrom were a net. Cole was a healthy scratch again. Uh, Kuzmenko is considered on Calgary's fourth line. There was times he played with Hubro a little bit tonight, but and then my pregame prediction was 6-1 for the Canucks. <laughs> I knew it was a little uh it was it was a little bold. Let's just say that because I dislike the Flames. I can't stand them. Can't stand them everyone. I love beating them in the regular season, in the preseason and the playoffs does not matter. I love beating the Flames. Gives me a lot of joy. So Tonight's big question for the stream that I want you to post in the comments. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, everyone. So post in the comments your comment on this question. The big question is, what do you think are the possible... Oh, wait a minute. That's not the big question. That was for my last question, uh, my last video. Uh, my The big question is, um, how many... Points, do you think <laughs> JT Miller is going to get this season? Okay, that's what I want you to post in the comments this season. Okay, that's the big question. This is the big question. Sorry, everyone. How many points do you think JT Miller is going to get the season? Got 90 after tonight. Another great game by him, Pedersen, and, and others. Uh, there's this guy that we're going to talk about a lot. Now, just a reminder, if you haven't hit the follow button on Facebook, X, Instagram, or YouTube, please do. I, I Just follow me on Kempner Canucks and you'll find me because I love making Canucks content that is passionate, realistic, and honest people. Oh, you got you to hit that like and subscribe. Okay. Let's dive into the first period because the first period was fantastic. Um, one nothing. What a goal. Garland to Pedersen and finished by Niels Hoaglander. Wow. 
that was just a thing of beauty. I've already posted it onto my Instagram reels with an awesome song that goes along with it. You got to check it out. Unbelievable goal. Great way to start and quick. Like the, <laughs> the, um, what do you call it? The, the lines that they show at the beginning of the game didn't, weren't even done by the time we'd scored our first goal. So I don't know about you guys, but I've got a fever and I need some more Hoaglander in my life. And let's take a second to appreciate Niels because he had an awesome night, everyone. I don't know if you noticed in that first period that Amon knocks over Markstrom. And I'm surprised that the Flames didn't respond to that. Um, maybe they shouldn't have. I'm not really sure. And then, of course, the Smith's friend showed up to the game again. The post. The post, everyone. So it was pretty cool to see. And then no surprise, but the Canucks outplayed the Flames in the first period. Now let's get into the second period. Life gets a little more crazy because Hoaglander is super skilled. What a deke. Woo, 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 woo. Up on Markstrom, 2 0 in Vancouver. Oh my goodness. I made a video on it. I put it on uh, Instagram Reels. I put it on um, uh, YouTube Shorts. I put it on Facebook Reels. Man alive. I hope that goes viral. That was awesome. What a goal. What a game he's having. What a player. And whoever wanted to trade Hoaglander at the deadline, you were wrong. You were dead wrong to want that. We need, oh no, we want, we want, we want, come on. I gotta, I gotta get this right tonight. We, we love, okay, when Niels cooks. How's that? That's, that's better. Okay. We love when Niels cooks, okay? He is, uh, he's unbelievable, guys. He's, uh, the talent we're seeing, and, and on, a, on a young contract, $1.1 million. He has played, he has exceeded expectations. He's played lights out hockey. Now, if we just look at it real quick, that he got his 21st and 22nd goal this season. All five on five goals. Wow. 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 We love Hoaglander, and that prescription of the fever, the Hoagland fever, is only we need more Hoaglander in our lives. Okay, then uh, Anderson scores and cuts the lead to one, and then we get into the third period. And, you know, a lot of things happen third period, but let's just fast forward to the last seven minutes, okay? Power play with the last seven minutes remaining uh, produced um, – chances and, and a lot of chances i thought we were going to score about three different times but no goals and i was concerned i'm like uh oh is this like we're down by one we're down by one i don't know if any of you were kind of getting worried but i was like we're letting them hang around and when we let them hang around bad things happen in an nhl with parody i don't care if we're killing them in the standings they had every opportunity to tie it up and I thought, oh boy, oh boy, this is not good. And then Zadorov comes in with a monstrous hit, everyone. And then, oh, wait a minute. That was before that. This is the part I actually wanted to say after the seven minutes. The Flames were putting on the pressure, but the Smith's best friend, goal poles, came through again. But they were, they were like, they were playing so well at the end. They did not care what their record was. They didn't care how uh how bad their team is. What they cared about was trying to tie that up, and somehow we held on. They, what they say, they threw everything but the kitchen sink, and maybe they should have thrown the kitchen sink because they would have maybe scored on that one. But then Zadorov comes in with the monsters hit. Wow, like, dude, you played against them that long, and are you kidding me? You got leveled like that? Are you? <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. I love Zadorov. I think we should re-sign him. I don't care. Just sign him. We're at, I'm at the stage. Just sign him. <laughs> That's the kind of guy you want on your team. That's the guy, guy you want to go in the playoffs. And then Miller doesn't get the penalty shot on the trip, but he gets the slapper on the power plate. 3-1 Vancouver. And it was absolutely stellar, everyone. Absolutely stellar. 3-1 uh, is basically it's over, right? But then... Lindholm gets the empty netter, and I don't know about you, but I'm hoping he's played. He's had three good games in a row, 
And this one, he actually scores. And I'm hoping, I'm just hoping, everyone, that he he now kind of wakes up and this is the beginning. And it was nice that he scored against his former team, too. Wasn't that kind of nice? It was a beautiful play. And then Hanley gets his first goal as a flame. End of the game is 4-2 Vancouver. What a lovely night. What a lovely night, everyone. So I was want to I want to welcome everyone here. I'm just going to get into a couple of things and we're going to dive into our uh chat room tonight and so so glad. Um want to just remind you if you uh, to to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, that's free. Absolutely free to do. It's absolutely free to do to like the video or to to follow me on these other socials, but on on YouTube, you can also become a a um a Rev Trev member 499 gets you loyalty badges, custom emojis to use in the live chat, early access to new videos. That's what you get with the 499 membership. But if you want to go next level, like a number of us have, next level membership, you get all the Rev Trev perks, you get all the custom emojis, you get all the custom the loyalty badges. And then you get all the access to the new videos. And then you get member shout outs, group video calls for all Next Level members. It's a lot of fun. So please join this if you can. Um, I'd appreciate it. But no pressure if you can't. All right. Let's dive into a couple things. First thing is this. I want to talk about this line. Not only did Hoaglander play well, Garland played well, Pedersen played well. And I've line, named this line the too small line. It's the too small line, guys. They have no business being effective. They're just too small to be out there. They shouldn't have made the NHL at this size and this weight. But guess what? They're here. And guess what? They're hard to play against. And guess what? These are the kind of guys that you want on your team, especially Hoaglander and Garland have the heart. They have the heart. They have the desire. They have the win. Um, now, I believe that Pedersen has the talent. I believe that Niels Hoaglander and Garland are talented guys. And you put them together and look at the fireworks finally. Because if we're honest, Pedersen needs wingers to play with. He needs skilled wingers to play with and then he can shine. And I'm telling you, he was shining tonight. So was Garland. So, I mean, Hoaglander was, the, he stole the show tonight, everyone. But it's my too small line. You know what I mean? It's too small. I, I got to go with this. It's too small, too small. It's like, you no, know, it's the reverse. It's like they should say, we're too small and you're too tall and we are better. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of cheesy. But you get what I'm trying to say, everyone. Get what I'm trying to say. This line is just like the chain. Just It's bright. It's off the chain. They are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Been fun to watch this line. Okay. So let's dive in. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Callum. He said the Canucks are winning 7-1 tonight. Go Canucks go. You and I were both very, very um, uh, optimistic, Callum. It's good to have you here. Todd, you do win a prize. I'm going to give you a high five right now. This is your prize. Come on. <laughs> Congrats on calling it 4-2 tonight. Well done, Todd. Awesome. And... Um, yeah, go to the guest services on level 100 to claim your prize, Todd. <laughs> Thanks, Japan, for free hot dogs from Phil Kessel. Just saying, Hoagie is a beast. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Sorry, hot dogs are $15. That's true. Uh, Monty, I also dislike Calgary. I have since the 80s. Me too. Uh, Highlander. On the hand, Hoaglander on the hand, very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I seen on the cake with Lynn Holmgate in the fourth. Galactic, you're so right. By the way, Monty, uh, last game, I sent Julia our conversation. I shared the, the video with her. She didn't comment. It was shocking, by the way. Julia didn't comment. So if you didn't know that story, you got to go back into the Montreal uh, post-game show, and there you go. So... Icing on the cake. Um, uh, Todd, yes. Todd, Monty and I are just too old. Absolutely. Hey, just so you know, Todd, I, did, I noticed in your pictures, 
you're getting some gray hair, brother. So don't 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 be saying too much here, okay? Tyler, good to have you. Yeah, we love the victory and uh, sweet Caroline in the third period. Junior was awesome. Everyone's singing. It kept going. That's fun. It's fun when the, you know the crowd's into that, and uh, that was fantastic. MJ, remember back in the day when we beat Calgary eleven nothing at the Pacific Coliseum? I do not remember that eleven nothing. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm revved up tonight, everyone. I'm revved up. And Adam's in the building. Pumped to have you here, Adam. Good to see you. Um, Monty remembers that game, and he said it was amazing, the 11 nothing. Junior, let's go. Big hoagster flushing out the rednecks. The red, flushing out the rednecks. That's awesome. Always happy when they beat the Flames. Go Canucks, go Dreamer. You and me both, bro. You and me both. And Monty. This P.D. Garland line is amazing. Uh, this P.D. Garland and Hoaglander line, baby. It's the too small line. They are amazing, Dingbat. I would be shocked if Kucherov doesn't win MVP. He's got 15 points in his last four games. He's insane. He's insane, everyone. Tampa is a lottery team without him. I agree. Tampa, Kucherov is the best player in the league right now, and it's not close. Let's just be honest, everyone. It's absolutely insane how many points he has. And I've got him in the hockey pool. I've got Matthews in the hockey pool. I've got Pedersen, Miller, Demko, uh, Barkov. <laughs> uh, we got playoffs starting next week. I, I'm, I'm hoping to win this whole thing. So uh, I got I got Panarin, Kaprizov. Like, I guess exactly. I have an all-star team. So I should call myself Kempner Canucks, the All-Stars, just like this. So the chain is going. It's rock the chain gang, man. I'm rocking the chain tonight, brother. I'm just, yeah, I looked like it was a blast, Dreamer, at, at the game. It would have been great. Oh, Michael Jordan was at the game? That's hilarious. Or are you talking like, well, it wouldn't have been Michael Jackson, but Michael Jordan. Jordan was at the game? That was awesome. Mike says he hates the Flames, but cheered for them to beat to beat Tampa. Yes, Kate, dude. By the way, so I made this video last year about if you're Canadian, do you have to cheer for Canadian teams? Like, if our team gets knocked out, the Vancouver Canucks get knocked out, do you have to cheer for? And my conclusion is no, you don't. In fact, when they played in the finals, I was cheering for Tampa. I cannot stand the Flames. So your hate is not too is not not good enough. You got to get to another level, Mike. Just saying. <laughs> it's probably why they lost. <laughs> well, thank you, because I was happy that Calgary lost. 100 points. Is, is that what we have as a team now? Are you kidding? Oh, no. The, no, no, no. You guys are saying, so Miller's going to get to 100 this year. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and, and our team's going to score and going to get over 100 points, too. So everyone's saying 100 points for Miller. Um, Jimmy says Oilers worse than Flames 99 and the oil beat up on the Knucks for years. Flames stopped five straight cups. Flames for years. Flames stopped five straight cups. They did. Oh, didn't they? Didn't they win? Oh, they, cause they won four and they stopped the fifth. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Monty, he believes that Miller's going to get 105. So does Mike. Guys, you guys are getting optimistic here. I love it. I love it. Lindholm puts the final nail in the coffin. Loved it. I think Miller, Miller will uh, hit. Um, he's going to hit 101. Dreamer says a 109. Woo -hoo! I love it. And, of course, Japan Force says, everyone smash that like button. Come on, everyone. I got to post this, post this back up. It always keeps falling down when I go on those or coming down on those. Victor, good to have you here, my friend. If we don't score on the power play, the game goes to overtime. It's almost anyone's game there. That's why we need our power play to get rolling. Absolutely. And, yeah, so Miller scores on the power play. By the way, there was a stat, Victor, which is wild. It says that we're 14th in the NHL in the, on the power play. And you think about how much our power play has struggled this season. There's been times it started so great, so wonderful. And then here we are, struggling on the power play, and we're still 14th best in the league. Like, if we can get this rolling, we're winning. We are going to be winning 
uh, playoff rounds, guys, if we can get this power play going in the playoffs. Just saying. Who saw that line coming? <laughs> right? Bender, you're right, man. That too small line is impressive. Absolutely impressive, isn't it? Just so fun. So fun to watch. Absolutely fun. You, you were mad when we acquired Miller. I, I don't like trading first round picks, but my friends were like, trust me, getting Miller was a gem. And I, I couldn't, yeah, I've been wrong in a lot of assessments in my life, but but that one is just, it's such a, I love it when we're wrong on that one, right, Mike? Have the Knucks set their lines? I don't know if they're set, but like, what are we going to do when Joshua comes back? Like, honestly, what's what are we going to do? Are we going to take Garland off of the Pedersen line? I, I don't know, man. Fever, fever. Okay, okay. That's awkward. <laughs> uh, Hoags wins. Uh, for sure, guys, no excuse not to hit the like button when we are buzzed and the team wins. Help Trev out. Good guy. Thank you. I appreciate the love, Junior. Junior John Martin. I love it. I love it. Uh, Hughes is five points away from passing Olin to be second in defenseman scoring for the Canucks. Dude, Hughes is the best defenseman we've ever had, and I'm telling you right now, it's not close. It's not close, everyone. Alvin needs to hurry up and give Hoags a four-year extension at $2 million a year. I don't think he's going to get $2 million a year, but you're right, Japan 4. You are right. Big Z with the crusher hit. Oh, man, wasn't that fun to watch, Victor? It was so fun. Yeah, Hoags was impressive. Hughes is only... 24 years old. It's crazy, everyone. This is such a young team. It's a hungry team. Kuzmenko lo- learning how to stick handle, then loses it. Yeah, I know. I know. I was expecting a little more from Kuz tonight. He, I looked like he was motivated. It did look like he was motivated. No love for Casey. What do you mean, no love for Casey? He had a good. He had a good game tonight. He had a good game. The goal he, he let at the uh, end. At the end, I mean, it was a perfect shot. There was nothing you could do. Um. In the right position, just top shelf, only a, a very small spot to get in. Nailed it. Amazing. I really liked Hironic on the power play with Hughes. Yeah, there were some moments where he looked really good out there, Justin. You're right. Good to have you here tonight. Junior says, love, uh, huge love for DeSmith. Only one he could have helped. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's a couple times DeSmith was out of position, but you know what? At the end of the day, uh, he was good enough, and the post was there, so his friend was helping him out. Um, d- dude, th- that second goal was not soft. It was not soft. That Come on. Come on. Anyways, we can agree to disagree on that one. Flames weren't bad tonight. No, they weren't. They are allergic to high traffic. <laughs> okay, so Adam thinks we're setting the lines now. We're setting the lines. Canuck Clay Superfan 2023. Hi, Rev. My name is <laughs> huge fan. Uh, Tristan. Um, huge fan. Let's go. Third Canucks win in a row. This is my first time here. Loving it. Dude, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you here. I'm a huge fan of Canuck Clay. So I'm I'm glad. I'm so glad, bro, that you're here. Um, hit that like and subscribe. Love for you to come back. 104 people in here, by the way, everyone. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Typical Canuck Clay prediction was 4-2. Yep, it was. And it was right. But he didn't call it, I don't think, this time. Justin said before the game, Lindholm was battling some injury. Yep, he was. Hey, Carol, thank you so much. Oh, not Carol. I'm used to get being Carol. Adam, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, the Canucks, uh, Kempner Canucks membership. And I wonder who it got to, but dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. He gifted one. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Sparks here. He's in the building. He's pumped. Yeah, the Canucks are bringing it. Okay. I bet you like the last 10 minutes of the third. I did. I did. Gentle Giraffe is back. Feel like Tyler Myers has played well since he's returned. I liked his play tonight. Yeah, it, it is. Gentle Giraffe. He's asking for seven point nine million next year. He he's he's well deserved of, of the seven point nine. Uh, Daniel, good to see you as well. Good overall win. I'll be honest. At about halfway through the third, I felt like Vancouver was flirting with letting the game slip away. They were, they were lots of close calls, 
And hanging back, luckily, we got that power play goal by Miller. Carroll is in the building. Play some star of the knock-knock. What? what do you mean of the knock-knock? Play some star of the knock-knock. Carol, explain that. I called it 4-1. Then those losers scored with 18 seconds left. Clifford, you were so close, brother. You were so close. I thought you had got it. I thought I seriously thought, oh, everyone who predicted 4-1 was getting it. And my friend Callie, had, uh, she had predicted that as well. But, uh, Carol, it's good to have you in the building or on the online building. We're knocking out desperate teams. It's a good sign. Yeah, they're, they're playing. They played hard tonight. Caverly, let's go. We had so much fun in the Colorado game. I had a blast with you, my friend. I still feel like PD and Besser have been far too quiet. Makes me nervous for the playoffs. Dude, Pedersen was good tonight. He was good tonight. Um, Beautiful pass to, to Hoaglander to start the game. And then, did he end up getting two points? By the way, thank you for trading him to me. Him and Kucherov. Okay, get this. Caverly and I are in a hockey pool together. Last year, he was trying to tank for Bedard. So I traded him. Let me think. Who did I give you, Caverly? Marner and somebody else. And I got Kucherov and Pedersen. I know. Highway robbery, people. Highway robbery. Love it. And that's one of the reasons why I might win this year. <laughs> we want to nestle in Heronic's beard. <laughs> Looks like you want to nestle. In, you're going to have to bend down like really far to get that neck down to nestle. <laughs> Gentle dress. And that is awkward, 100%. Oh, my goodness. Garland seems to be good on most of the lines. Yes, he is very good, Mark. You're right. How'd you get Demko in your fantasy pool? Uh, thank you, because you let him go. But I got him in the third round of our pool, which is third round after keepers. So that was round eight I got Demko. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yeah, goodbye, Flames. Yorg, good to see you. I was good to see you this week as well. I'm glad you're doing well. Cheering for Tampa is like cheering for paper straws. It's just wrong. Not when they're playing Calgary in the finals, Trev. Not when they're playing Calgary in the finals. So... Angelo, I'll dismiss Bagwagon proved us wrong. <laughs> are you are you getting positive about the team yet, Angelo? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Heronic is my best friend, Gentle Drop says. <laughs> we both going to get 7.9. <laughs> uh, Carol, thanks for being a member for three months. I really appreciate it. What a great game. My brothers and their wives were in the building tonight. Hi, Trip. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, they would have had a, such a great, great night together, right? So, okay. Not sure what the 7-9 reference is. It, he comes in. He, he's he's talking about next year's reference. He wants 7.9 million next year. That's what, he, that's what the reference is. Love him, hate him. Benning got JT. That's true. That's true. Good point. Good point. Give him some credit. The Fife line will still work. What what's that? The Fife line? Are you talking about the small, too small, or are you talking about the lifeline? The lifeline will still work. Yeah, the Bluger, Joshua, and Garland line. I, I it's gonna be interesting what we do in the playoffs, right? 105 points for Miller, 100 points for Pedersen, 98 for Hughes. That's what you think is gonna happen. Hey, I hope you're right. I hope you're right, Canuck su Clay super fan. Benning is still a clown. Well, he got us some guys, right? Didn't he end up getting us Demko as well? Didn't, I think he drafted Demko. Thank you, Carol. Give Carol some hype. Give Adam Lee some hype, some love for uh, the memberships being gifted. Thank you. I appreciate that. Joshua Miller, Suter. That could work too. Well, it'd be Besser though. It'd be Besser, right? I need uh, times three years. <laughs> uh, yeah, showing her some love. Um, Phil, in Bangkok, do you think, when do you think Josh will be back? I think he's going to be back end of next week. That's my personal prediction. Do not have any inside information on that, but uh, pretty pumped. Sir Wojenhem, is it one, one Jen, him, the third. Hogs easily deserves 
2.5, million to 2.5 million a year. Guy's a stud. I, I think he's going to ask for more. I really do. But I, I want him to sign him back. I don't care what happens. Uh, Demko, Smith, the, the Smith and Demko. You guys think really that it's the best tandem in the league? Like, honestly, honestly, post it in the comments if you think it's the best. I think it's in the top five, but I'm not sure if I'd say it's the best. It's close. It's close. Why are some people dogging on DeSmith? I have no idea. He he made big saves. I'm with you. I thought he played well as well. Okay. Petey Hogue and Miller. Go Canucks go. Wow. Personalized. You're breaking up the Miller um, Besser line, eh? Oh, you, you think it's going to be plus 2.5. No. Is that what you're talking about, Benderman? I don't know. 102.5 for Miller. <laughs> Todd, you know you can't get 0.5, right? <laughs> uh, Mud Crab, how you doing? Good to have you here. I kind of wanted Kuzmenko to score. think the crowd would have... Yeah, you know what? I think they, the crowd would have been... Would have honored him there, for sure. Oh, Clifford ended up getting the the membership. That's awesome. That's awesome. Canucks Clay Superfan says, I subbed and liked, and I'll be back for sure. Do you go to games, sir? Yeah, I've gone. I don't go to many because I live on Vancouver Island in Nanaimo. So I've gone to two this year. I went to the Tampa Bay game. I, I did a video on it. Please go check it out in my in my previous videos on YouTube. And also, I, I went to the game on Wednesday against Colorado, made a video on it. Please check that out as well. I went with this guy right here, Trevor Caverly. And he said he was held at gunpoint. And this might be informa misinformation. He held... You weren't held at gunpoint for the, tr the fantasy football trade. Stinking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Gentle draft will be signed by the Flames in the offseason. He can be chaos draft once again. Yeah, he can be gentle draft in Vancouver. He can be chaos draft anywhere else, right? <laughs> I wish I was as confident as Tockett with their ability to close out games. They get sloppy. It makes me nervous. Yeah, that, you got to remember, Spark. It's a league of parity. These teams are very good. All of them, even the worst teams, can still win. So, yeah. 105 people in here tonight, everyone. It's been a lot of fun to have everyone here. He might actually go to Calgary or Oilers in the summer, close to home in, in Kelowna. Yeah, he, he could go to Kelowna. Or Calgary, I mean. Seeing some YouTube prediction experts predicting Vancouver was going to fold without Dumko. Not even close. Daniel, you're right. This team is way more than just Demko. And yes, Pedersen, Garland, Hoaglander, two points each. What a night for them. What a night. Clifford says the last game, no, no, there, no, there was a clinic on how to close out a game. Um, three shots against. Three shots against. What are you talking Dude, I'm so confused for what you posted there. Three got shots against. Oh, when they closed uh, closed out. Let's just see what he was saying here. Oh, eight, eight, eight shots in the third period against us. Ten in the second. Six. So I, I don't know what you're talking about there. So please, what? Please, what? 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 Um, explain more there. What's going on? When I think of Miller from last season, the moment he slammed his stick on the net was a perfect pitcher, a shambles. And this season, wow, what a turnaround. You know what, Connor? I understand what you're saying, but I'm telling you right now, when he slammed his stick against that back of the net, everyone freaked out that it was inappropriate. But can I tell you something? That, to me, just said this guy's passionate and hates to lose. And that he was a good leader. Did his temper get a little much of him on that moment? Absolutely. But those are the kind of guys you want. He plays playoff hockey every single game. He cannot stand losing. He loves to win. He loves to compete. He loves to hit. So I'm all in on JT Miller. So I, I, I don't know if you're criticizing him, but I'm just telling you, I loved it too. I loved it too. Uh, good to have you back, bro. Uh, Dallas and Colorado were both one point behind us, and they are playing easy teams tomorrow. We are real. We really needed to win this to create some distance. 
and we got it done. Let's go. Yes, absolutely. Please be honest. Do you think we will win the cup? Do you do you want? Do you think? Okay. Um, do I think we're gonna win the cup? See above my head here, it says right there, passionate, realistic, honest. I, I'm cheering for this team like we're going to win the cup. I think we have the potential and the players to win a cup. I think we're winning a cup sooner than later. We have a chance to win the cup this year. I'm not sure if we're going to win this year. Now, I picked Vegas to win at the beginning of the season. They have almost fallen off a cliff. So I am at the stage where I'm not – If when the playoffs start, I'm not picking Vegas anymore. I think Vancouver has a chance. I think there's six or seven teams that legitimately have a chance to win the Cup, and I think Vancouver is one of them. The only team that worries me in the West when it comes to Vancouver is Colorado. So if we play Colorado, we haven't beat them yet this year. That, that concerns me. The other teams are good and they have a they have potential to beat us, okay? But I think we have a as good of a chance to beat them or better than than they do beating us. So I'm not worried, I'm concerned. Like playing Edmonton is going to be hard. Playing the Jets is going to be hard. Playing I don't think playing Vegas is going to be that hard for us cuz I just think they're too injured. A uh, Nashville is going to be tough. I think there's going to be a lot of teams, but you got to beat the best to be the best. The only other team on the in the in the East that bothers me, and it's, and we have to get there. So it's really Florida. But I mean, we play well against Florida as well. So I, the answer is I'm not sure if we're going to win the cup this year, but we have a chance, and that's all you can ask every year is to have a chance to be a legit contender. I think this team is legit. They have a chance to win the cup. Cannot Clay's in the building. Huh? Welcome to have you here, Clay. All Mark and Swayman have entered the chat of the best goalies town. Oh, for sure, for sure. They have been fantastic again this year. Last year were amazing, right? And Keverly, you're right. Anything can happen if you can just make it to the dance. That's right. I'm surprised Kuzmenko didn't cry. <laughs> go, Carol, go. Go, Adam, go. Go, Trevor, go. Oh, this sounds good, man. Sounds good. Do not take the Smith out of net until he loses one game. Once Demko's ready, let this guy lose a game first. Yeah, I mean, give him the time to get him healthy. I'm I'm with you. So loving that there's over 100 people in this chat here tonight, everyone. Good to have you here. Legend in the chat. He is a legend for sure in my books. Big fan of Canuck Clay. Did they do a tribute to Kuzi? I didn't see one. I didn't see one. Uh, but they did show Kevin James was on the big Jumbotron or whatever they call it. The big screen, I guess, is what they call it now. The third period of the Montreal game, right? Right? He's talking about the Montreal game. Who's talking about the Montreal game? Oh, three shots. Three shots. Okay. My bad. My bad. Your kids are giants. My sons are six, a five foot six, daughter's five three, and they just turned they just turned 10 last month. Listen, you have they just turned 10 last month. All three of them. Did you have triplets? Wow, if you did, that's amazing. That's amazing. And and that is tall for a 10-year-old, for sure, man. For sure. They can play defense for the Vancouver Canucks <laughs> when they get older. If a team gets demonized in the playoffs and the Smith comes in and and instead, the other team goes, oh crap. Yeah, I, I think Dismet. If, if something happened to Dem, uh, Demko, we, we'd be pretty confident that Dismith can can hold his own. Dude, okay, personalized. I love the effort here. But you know what? You're probably right about the Colorado one. I, is that the second goal? I know it's uh, Gorgi Gorg Gorgiev. But I didn't know that's how you spelt the other. I was there. I watched him. He was right in front of my face. I was in that corner in the warm-ups. So Sturkin and Quick. I, I don't think Quick's, Quick's done, bro. He's done. I, I think Vancouver. Honestly, I, I don't think the Rangers one is good. The Swimming Allmark's there. 
I I think uh, Demko and um, DeSmith are better than the Colorado tandem. Uh, the the tandem I would put in there uh, is Hill and Thompson. That's a very good tandem. Um, Bobrovsky and Stroll. Yeah, that would be a good one too. Not so much criticism, but I'm delighted he has turned it around. I want to keep him. Want him to keep a cool head. Yes, I like. Uh, like you, I love his desire to win, but he needs to use it appropriately. Connor, you're right. You're right. Um, yeah, I'd be up for a Western Conference final against Dallas. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tim, good to have you here. Greg Millen, the worst color man in hockey and a complete Calgary homer. Why? It's a Vancouver home game. Truly disgusting. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, man, that's, that's passion right there, bro. That's passion right there. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I share that same sentiment, but uh, yeah, I, I, it's, it's frustrating to see. Um, but we're used to getting shafted by the Toronto media. So, you know, I, I'm kind of glad at least it's the West, in my opinion. Good night, uh, Yorg. Good to see you. I think we beat Vegas in five. I do. Colorado or Edmonton is in seven. Jets in six. And the finals will be seven games. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Just incredible. Hey, I'm doing well, brother. How are you doing? Post in the comments how you're doing. Good to see you. Welcome. Honestly, Canucks may surprisingly win the cup. Definitely not expected. And, and Canucks size, strength, and consistency are not paired nor better than Colorado or Edmonton. Second round, if not third. Honestly, in a weird way, I want a final against the Flyers. We owe them for some payback for the season sweep. Yeah, the Flyers aren't making it, bro. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Um, what hurts is Vegas getting all of our players back in the playoffs, according to reports. For a sick reason, there will be $23 million over the cap. How can they keep getting away with this? Yeah, no, it... Yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to work it out. But yeah, it, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal, bro. The JT Miller chants are awesome. And then the power, the towel power is going to be awesome, Justin. You're right. Yeah, the hello book. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, you're right, Daniel. Yeah, I would put I'd put uh, them uh, in there. That would be my top three. I would think. What did he have? Swayman, Allmark, Demko, DeSmith, and and Hellebuck. And is it Breeze? No, it's Boys. Bro Boy, I don't even know how to say his name. No tribute to Kuzmenko, and why should there be one? Well, he did score 39 goals for us, but, yeah, he only played a year and a bit. So, Heronic's beard is like the crown, the brown candy floss, it looks like. <laughs> uh, Vegas won't be healthy. Yeah, they won't be healthy. Uh, I don't think Stone's going to be there for the first round of the playoffs. That's my personal opinion. Yeah, you're going to be set gentle, G Giraffe, if you get $7.9 million next year. But I'll put palm trees in my air. But think about it. You're already set. You've just oh, got overpaid for six years or whatever it was. It wasn't at six times six. It was insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, I, it's hilarious, dude. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Demko and DeSmith are awesome. However, it's not wins is based on save percentage. DeSmith is at 901, I believe, while well, others at 910. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you. Canucks are back to number one in the league. Woohoo! Not sure how I feel about that. We're not getting the presence trophy. I don't think so. Okay, Clifford says, that's funny because I saw the Flames fans online vote Miller being biased towards Millen being biased towards us. Really? I didn't see that. Canadian hockey commentator analyst and a former professional ice hockey goaltender who played 14 seasons for six teams. He's from Peterborough. So he's not a Flames lover? Everyone, listen. Smash that like and subscribe. I, I try to give you realistic, passionate conversations because I'm not a homer. I, I'm a fan, and I get my fandom, my fandom and my passion get like 
pumped up, right? But but I, I'm a realist. I, I tell you what I really think. I, I don't try to candy coat things. So, but I am a very positive and optimistic person by nature. So, yes, that's right, Gentle Ref. You both are right handed shot defensemen. Stone better not come back for Vegas. That's right. They're not over the cap as the cap space can carry over to the next season. So next season, if a team is over 20 million this season, it means they have, they do not have 20 million. Okay. That's good to know. I'm good. Just paying my dues. <laughs> Justin, you're just paying your dues. Oh man. The troll is picking on all the Canucks fans, but Hey, great win tonight. I'm so glad I picked up Hoaglander on waivers. Dude, I picked up Hoaglander too, right, for that game. And then Barkov got hurt, and then he missed a game, but he said he might be back for tonight. And I forgot to put him – like he's still in my uh, my IR spot, and I was going to put Hoaglander in. So I had to move Pedersen to the center position so I could get Hoaglander in, and I forgot to put Hoaglander in tonight. Kuzmenko's been, Kuzmenko's been struggling for sure. Caverly, I'm looking forward to this. Off topic, but relevant. Was Ron McClain on mushrooms tonight? <laughs> what guy? <laughs> uh, did you see his interview with the kid from the Leafs? I did not. They need to get rid of that panel and give BX Ed the new show. Yes. I like it. I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of Kelly Rudy on that show. Ron McClain, I don't mind. I know you don't like him, but... And Elliot and Biaxa kind of go back and forth with each other a bit, too. That's fun. Aiden Hill left the game tonight injured. Are you kidding me? I need him for... <laughs> I need him for my hockey playoffs. I spent my money on yummy, tall trees. I need something more exotic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> The dedication to make gentle dress account is very impressive to me. Yeah, I know. That's it's classic, man. I love it when he's here. We're up 10 on the Oilers. Oh, speaking of Oilers, thank you for bringing that up. I want to show you guys something. I want to talk to you about a couple things. Oh, I almost hit end stream by accident. Okay. So, look at this. I want to talk about this. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about... So look at, th these are our home games, okay? The nine games in a row. So we beat Winnipeg 5-0. We lost to Colorado in an overtime loss. Washington, we lost 2-1. Buffalo, we beat 3-2. Montreal, we beat 4-1. And Calgary, we won 4-2. Now we play on Monday night, the Kings. By the way, it's my wife's birthday on Monday, everyone. And I'm hoping to stream. But I'll see how it goes. She'll probably be cool with it. We'll celebrate her during the day, during the night, and then I'll probably stream. But if she doesn't want me to stream, I'm not streaming because happy life, happy life, okay? Then Thursday, we played Dallas. That's where Coach Rob, Willie, and Shannon are at that game. And then Easter Sunday is versus the Anaheim Ducks, okay? But I want to talk to you because, bringing those up, I want to talk to you tonight really quickly about McDavid and Matthews. Here's the crazy thing. Did you see tonight that McDavid had three assists, everyone. He's on pace to get 100 assists this year. 100. 100! You know the last time? I mean, that is elite company, everyone. Like, I, I, you got to give this guy credit. I know it's a Canucks channel, but I highly respect McDavid. He is phenomenal. He could get 100 assists this year. That's insane. Now, Austin Matthews, big fan of his as well. Great goal scorer. Here's the thing about him. Everyone, you got to know this. He's on. He's trying to get 70 goals this year. I don't know if he's going to get there. Actually, I don't think he's going to get there. Okay? I don't think he's going to get there. He scored his 58th goal tonight. Tonight, though, he scored his first ever. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. He scored his first empty netter of the season. So number 58 was an empty netter. He scored 57 goals and tonight his 58th was an empty netter. That's just that's just some interesting stuff if you ask me. Okay? So I wanted to kind of bring that up. So All right. 
Why can't Vancouver win the President's Trophy tied to the Rangers for first overall in points and also points? Yeah, they could. Yeah, they could. They tef- definitely could. Um, Lynn Holm doesn't seem happy. He scored the empty netter and didn't seem like he could care less. I mean, it's because it's an empty netter and, and it's against his old team, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if he's sold on target system. I like him too. I just, I, he's just off. I don't get it, but he's played good for the last three games. So I'm, I'm believing he's going to turn around. He'll be, you feel bad for Hogan Lambert. It's a shame that his first name has to. Niles. Oh, that's a cheesy one. It's cheesy. Want to lay eggs in a hog's beard? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lice. <laughs> uh, imported in the Nile mushrooms. Kings are looking good right now. Could be an interesting game. You know what? The Kings just play such boring hockey. I cannot stand it. Hook up the shroom. <laughs> okay. Carefully. Give Ginny what Ron was on tonight. She won't even notice your God stream. <laughs> Caverly, you never cease to amaze me with your comments. Yeah, that's exactly online trafficking. <laughs> Not a McDavid fan. Uh, go Kucherov. Yeah, he's going to win it. He's going to win the heart for sure. Is Garland a UFC a UFC next year? A, a UFA? You mean? No, he's not. He's a U. He's a. We got him for another year after this. Carol, isn't that great? UFA. Do it. The safe way and meet at your local Burger King. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he's a UFA after the following season. So we got another. We don't want the tr- President's Trophy. It's bad luck. I, I I don't believe in luck, but the cap is not affected at all because the players are coming back to playoffs. So no cap. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If it was before. Playoffs would be hit. Interesting. Yes, Carol. That's what it means. All right. Can shoot. Can shoot 93 miles an hour. Most cars don't even go 93 miles per hour. I need 7.9 for my trees. <laughs> All right, everyone. It's been um, 53 minutes, but let's see. Any more comments here? How can you not be a McDavid fan? What are you, vegan? <laughs> but for real, best player in the world. How can you not like him? I, I respect him. He, he's really good. You're right. You're right. President Trophy is cursed. Boston got knocked out. Yeah, good point. Good point. All right, everyone. I'm calling it a night. 101 people in here. Great to have everyone here. Hope you have a great Sunday. Monday is against the Kings. We're on a roll, everyone. And, uh, uh, thanks so much. If you don't mind just hitting that like and subscribe right now, that'd be really kind of you. I'd love that. Absolutely love it. Uh, love the support. Trying to make passionate, realistic, and honest um, uh, content. So hope everyone has a fantastic evening and a great day tomorrow, rest of your weekend. But of course, always, we are going to say, go Canucks, go. We just destroyed the flames. Thank you.